Households produce the equivalent of 10 Eiffel Towers in waste every day. And this production only accounts for 10% of all the waste produced in a territory. If you include waste from tertiary industry, from agriculture, from industrial production, it's the equivalent of 85 Eiffel Towers produced every day in France. And if we consider the natural resources that were used to produce consumer goods and construction material is the equivalent of 2,550 Eiffel Towers in weight consumed every day in France. So one Eiffel Tower in resources consumed every 30 seconds. For one smartphone, 75 kilograms of resources are needed. So we consume large quantities of resources and we live without limits in a finite environment. But this is very often seen as a constraint. Of, uh, many efforts were made with the advent of prevention and recycling with uh, modernization of processing units. But in France, less than 40% of domestic waste is recycled, which leads to a huge loss in value. Waste also have a negative image. They are associated to negative uh, terms like filth, uh, garbage, and in the recycling uh, site, people want to get rid of their waste as quickly as possible. And very often this is linked to lack uncivilities. And when people have to pay for their waste tax, they uh, complain that it's too expensive, although they don't know about the actual price of waste recycling. And we know, on the other hand, that uh, raw materials are pre precious and should not be wasted. But waste are a wonderful opportunity for job creation and economic development to eliminate 10,000 tons of waste in the incineration plant, it takes a job. But to recycle 10,000 ton, 10, tons of waste, 10 jobs need to be uh, created. And to reuse these waste, 100 jo jobs need to be created. Of course, everything can't be recycled or reused. But the more we go towards reuse and recycling of waste, the more jobs we create. In order to transform this constraint into an opportunity, we can use many different levers. The first one is to change our perspective and no longer look at uh, waste as garbage, but as a resource. And to achieve that, we need to change users' behaviors with regards to weight. One example in Smigvald, we had this dumping site to be uh, refurbished, and we thought about a totally new equipment so that users would no longer get rid of their waste, but so that they would come and get information and recycle not objects but materials. So we designed the equipment as a reverse supermarket with uh, its uh, DIY gardening departments. When you arrive, you park yourself and you put back on the shelf all the objects that can be taken by others or by organizations for bulky materials. We have a material library with the possibility to take everything which can be reused, like Garden waste becomes uh, plant material, and once you've uh, uh, dropped what you had to drop, you leave with compost. And at the end of the day, all you have are the uh, end materials that need to be eliminated. So we need to make sure that all players who live together, not knowing one another, get together, so that the waste of some becomes the resource of others. One example in Smigbal, We've just launched a study for methane creation, and it's co-funded by various organizations. We want to operate a methane production a plant that would uh, process the waste from farms, from our households, the um, sanitation waste, generating synergies with all these players should allow us, through the building of various methane production units, should help us 
create a few jobs and contribute to energy transition. Then, to ensure more efficient use of resources, we need an experiment and test new economic models. Circular economy encourages flows in a shorter cycle. It encourages use rather than ownership of goods. It involves social and solidarity economy. So it's breaking it with the current economic model. One example in Smigva, we collect and sort uh, packaging and paper, and it's sold in Saragossa, Spain at the moment. We are currently testing the t sorting of this paper to meet the requirements of a neighboring factory and their product will then come back to our territory as an insulating material for, build, for buildings. So this shows that waste can be a resource and can become a formidable opportunity for economic development.